Good evening and welcome. I am Justin Akadonia and this is the News Now. The House of Representatives Committee on Banking Regulations has squeezed the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Yami Kadoso, of a government's economic policies that have had serious economic implications on the purchasing power of Nigerians since the inception of the president's administration on the 29th of May last year. These economic policies, which included subsidy removal and premium motor spirit, popularly known as fuel in Nigeria, floating of the Naira against the dollar, the chairman of the House Committee, Mohammed El Rafai, and other members of the committee were seriously worried over the negative impact these laudable policies have had on the living conditions of Nigerians as such, wants the CBN governor to speak on these impacts and prefer solutions on ways to ameliorate its impact on the citizenry. The Naira has depreciated to around 1,500 Naira to the US dollar. For a country that relies on imports, this exchange rate crisis is not just an inconvenience, it is devastating. Nigerians are yet to see any real improvement in their day-to-day -day lives. Again, I feel we are all responsible. Unemployment, which increased by 5.3% in the first quarter of 2024, continues to climb as businesses are forced to cut jobs, largely due to harsh monetary environment and an ex unstable exchange regime. The price of crude is coming down internationally. In our case, price of refined products is going up. And this is because, even though we, are, we, we said we are selling the, the crude in, in Naira, we are still following the, uh, the, the price index of plats, the price index, which price are really analyzed in dollars. Why is it that our naira is pouring day by day? This issue of uh, pouring is uh, Porex, what have you, I told you initially that they won't understand it. But in a simple term, why is it that our, our naira is pouring day by day? And why is it that if I, uh, maybe yesterday I bought a rice of 50,000, when I go to market, or go to market tomorrow, the price will increase, Mr. Governor. These are issues that sh should under your responsibility. In his response, the central bank governor outlined his plans to address the spiraling inflation in the country. I want to assure you that in spite of the challenges confronting our economy, there are clear reasons for optimism. The gradual moderation in inflation, foreign exchange stability, ongoing banking sector recapitalization, and other positive trends in key sectors indicated indicate a path towards macroeconomic growth and stability the bank will closely monitor economic developments and adjust policies as needed to achieve low and stable inflation exchange rate stability conducive for sustainable economic growth The committee, however, dissolved into a closed-door session for further deliberation as it aims to find a way out of Nigeria's economic quagmire. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.